Hello, it's Tanil for Paper Milkshake and welcome back to my channel. I trust you're all having a really good weekend. Um, unfortunately, it's a little bit rainy in Sydney um, right now, so I don't have the best lighting for this video. Um, and notwithstanding, I'm so excited to show you guys a couple of um, star-shaped tag flips that I um, crafted using Laura by Laura's Bali collection and I'm so happy with how they turned out. I don't often, in fact I don't think I've ever made a tag flip um, that's sort of shaped in a particular style. I've always just used the traditional square or rectangle or tag shaped tag flips. So I ventured a little bit outside of my comfort zone and went with star shapes since I have a star shaped nesting die set. And I'm so happy with how they turned out. But just a little bit about the Bali collection. So um, Laura by Laura is a Spanish designer. And she just makes the most beautiful collections. Like the Bali collection is a little bit of sunny days. But kind of reminds me a bit of Dear Lizzie and Paige Evans in terms of the colour scheme. And this this particular collection it has so much pastel and pink in it and i absolutely love it i have done a um frank garcia tutorial video which i will provide in the link below in the description bar and you'll be able to see all the laura by laura products that i purchased from frank garcia now um i have not been able to buy laura by laura before so i was so excited when frank garcia studios actually stocked her products because now i can purchase them even if it means paying a ridiculous amount for shipping <laughs> irrespective i'm trying to i'm going through a bit of a no spend so i'm, I'm trying to just use up all my stash now, the format of today's video is going to be a little bit different. I have had some suggestions before that when I do a haul video to also share some projects that I've made using the haul um, or using um, products that I purchased on the haul. But I'm going to do things sort of the other way around today. I'm going to show you some projects that I made. And as I go along, I'm going to show you um, different products from the Bali collection that I used. So without further ado, let's jump into the tags. So I will show you the pink, the pink inspired tags. So with this particular tag flip, I wanted to stick with a color palette that is more pink and shimmery and silver because you guys know that's more or less my favorite colors. Um, but in the Bali collection, there's also a little bit of orange. So I've also worked in some orange and yellows on this tag flip. Now, each one of these tags um, are double-sided. Um, I didn't decorate the back. However, I backed it up with two pieces of patterned paper just to make sure that it's nice and sturdy. And then I've either done a zigzag stitch across the border of the, um, of the tag or just a straight, a straight stitch. So the first one is this beautiful um, tag. Now this is mainly made up of ephemera from Bali, Laura by Laura's Bali collection. Um, but this star um, starfish shape is so gorgeous. I don't know if you can see the perforations, but it's so textured. And that is basically um, cut out using this die set from Frank Garcia, or sorry, from Laura by Laura, which I bought at Frank Garcia. And there's the starfish shape there. It's so beautiful. So it comes in a pack of two. You get a starfish and you get this gorgeous um, sea grass as well. And it's so beautiful. And it's not too expensive for a double die set, considering um, you're going to, you know, use this again and again. Um, so that's pretty good value for money. The camera, the swimming costume, and that sort of um, leaf on the back is actually from the ephemera packet, which this is the open packet. So um, there you go. You can see the leaf over here. There's the leaves and the camera there as well. So really, really cute. You get 61 die cuts, so really good bang for your buck. And they're also really, really sturdy. She's made sure these products are made out of like a nice heavy weight cardstock. So that was a really, really nice touch. And the the girls swimming on the back with their arms outstretched is from the um, Bali cardstock sticker pack. So there is that one. Let me just move that aside a little bit. 
Okay, and the second tag flip was made using some holographic paper, which is not part of the collection. Um, but this little palm frond is and it's a little bit flimsy because I wasn't very gentle with it so my advice guys is to just make sure when you cut it out you cut it out of some pretty stiff cardstock just because the branch is quite um, fragile um, and this one I cut out of the 12 by 12 paper pads so it wasn't the thickest for this sort of really fine and dainty um, die then I thought with the whole Black Lives Matter movement this barley collection was perfect because there's lots and lots of women of color in this collection in the die cuts and it was just so pretty now this such a sweet moment is not from laura by laura laura by laura barley has a lot of um, all their statements are spanish which i worked into my projects um, but for some of these other tags i've actually used um some english statements like this one here which is from a sticker a thicker a thicker sticker pack that I purchased and I thought they actually went really well together and you may or may not see a little acetate heart that I've just stuck on there which I thought was a really cute touch it kind of looks like the visor on the front of the scooter that she's riding so that was really cute and this is an example where I've actually used a straight stitch instead of a zigzag stitch I kind of regret using the straight stitch because this star die already has a stitching detail on it. So I thought that then doing a straight, like an actual straight stitch was a bit superfluous. It really wasn't necessary. So in future, I'll either do a zigzag stitch with this heart die or just don't just leave out the stitching altogether. This one here is using that beautiful Myla Pearl. And there is our gorgeous woman of color doing yoga or meditating, having her little moment. And it says, cherish this. And I think it's so gorgeous. So pretty. Now, this palm leaf is actually from the other Laura by Laura die set from the Bali collection. So I showed you this one earlier, which has the seagrass and the starfish. This one has the the beautiful palm frond and that little like banana leaf there. And I just think it's so cute. And that one is less flimsy, so you can cut that one out of pattern paper. And I've just filled this star up with some little balls that I got in some happy mail from Cheryl. So thank you for that, Cheryl. I really wanted to reuse them. And all the jemmies that you see in this project are from the Prima Marketing Capri collection. So every time you see a sparkly gem, it's not Laura by Laura. It's actually Prima Marketing Capri. Very pretty. The Mylar paper goes so well, coordinates so well with the, with the, the ring and the paper from this collection. Now, I cheated with this tag. This beautiful paper is actually from Paige Evans Bloom Street. I love this holographic paper and I just really wanted to work it into this tag, uh, this tag flip. And it turned out perfect. It turned out perfect. The aeroplane and that strip of tiny planes are from the Bali ephemera pack. And that foam thicker is from the same sticker that I um, pulled the other foam thickers from now these little hearts are one of my favorite items from bali it's this beautiful little 56 piece enamel sticker pack and look at the colors look at the beautiful shapes it's absolutely stunning and i think when i lift my, when my own uh spending ban is lifted i'm going to go and hoard a few more of these because i can see myself reaching for these a lot in my crafting they're two hearts aren't they cute just just pretty and what I did was with my leftover holographic paper from this tag I used my meet we are memory keepers heart punch and punched up three hearts to sit behind that so gorgeous love how that one turned out and the last tag here has a very beachy beachy feel which I love because I miss summer so much and it's we're in the middle of winter in Australia I just love summer crafting all year round, guys, to be honest. I just love summer crafting. And it's it's got a girl in a gorgeous hat and black and white swimmers doing the peace sign on a unicorn floaty. Like, it's so summery. And I layered that up with lots of seashells, seagrass, palm fronds, jemmies, you name it. <laughs> it's there. 
and the lovely which is again from the same foam thicker um packet the color of the lovely just goes so well it's like this beautiful sparkly mint green so that's the first tag and i wanted to add some fun on the front so what i did was i popped one of her pom-pom charms so this is the laura by laura barley let me get that flap off the top here laura by laura barley foam uh charms i guess you can call them or tassel charms pom-pom tassel charms not sure why i said foam foam's got nothing to do with it pom-pom tassel charms so this is the one that i used for this tag flip then i made my own little bottle of sequins mix and i think just as a little tag flip like that it is super cute super girly and really really fun quite chunky isn't it <laughs> so that's a neat little um little um tag flip that i'm going to be giving to my pen pal the second one just as fun i as you guys know in 2020 made myself a little new year's resolution which is to use a lot more color in my projects so yes i went with a pink one that's my little treat there but i also made one that uses lots of color and Laura by Laura Bali was perfect for that because all the colors in here aren't too controversial to me. You know, they're all pastels, they're all sort of sherbet candy colors, lots of colors that I can work with and I feel comfortable working with. So let's make a start. I again have a little sequins bottle. Um, this time I used a different um, charm. I used this little tassel charm that you see here for the front of that because all the colors on that charm just go so well with the tiger or the jaguar or I don't know what animal is leopard yeah leopard that I've put on the front tag little close up there I love this first tag it is a sequins shaker tag and I have filled it up with the packet of Laura by Laura barley sequins mix so that's what the sequins mix looks like really chunky sequins really cute colors so that's what's inside this star really pretty and i added a little bit more pink of my own in there and here is the um the seagrass the seagrass is so pretty look how much like dimension and prettiness it adds to this tag so that's this one right here so pretty and such a pretty pink one of um i cut this out of one of the pink papers from the pad and the leopard slash jaguar yeah i think it's a leopard the leopard yeah leopard has lots of spots that's the <laughs> play school song that i play for my daughter and that's definitely a leopard because it's got spots um, the leopard is from the sticker pack and that cute isn't from Laura by Laura it's from the same stickers that I used as before there's another heart that I punched out and pretty much everything else you see here is from Bali very pretty loved this one then because I was so obsessed with that dye I made a second one and this one I actually stuck some of the beautiful little little gem glitter gem stickers onto the sea the seagrass and I thought that was so pretty it's so lacy and beautiful gorgeous dye love this dye I absolutely am obsessed with it now now in this tag flip as I mentioned before I added some Spanish statements from the um, ephemera pack and this one says and I am going to mispronounce it because my Spanish is terrible my only exposure to Spanish is when I actually traveled to Spain last year and and I realized that I'm just terrible at speaking Spanish it says siempre con la sonrisa puesta feel free to comment below if I did not pronounce that right <laughs> but what that basically says is always with a smile on what a beautiful statement always with a smile so pretty we've got a coconut cocktail we've got the sea ray we've got heart stars hibiscus 
or, or frangipani very very pretty and i laid another like palm leaf there because it's just so so gorgeous i love that love the tag love the colors each one of these tags have been reinforced with an eyelet on the top just to make sure that they're nice and sturdy and will hold um, hold well on that binder ring. This paper is also from the Bali collection and it's a print with lots of seagrass, seaweed, starfish and corals in it and it's so pretty. There's our starfish die cut again using the die set that I um, showed you earlier just hiding in here. There we go. See, the textures are so pretty. I just love, love the perforations on it. And I love the seashell stickers. You get lots and lots of seashells in the sticker pack. And for a change, we are seeing a collection that uses a lot of silver instead of gold. And I love that. I love silver. Sometimes more than gold, to be honest. Um, and the Capri Jemmies just worked perfectly with this collection. Then we have, oh, sorry, I didn't talk about the statement there. It says, Carico esto todo, which means how everything is delicious. <laughs> oh, any kind of summer holiday is delicious in my books. We have this beautiful pink tag here with the girl sunbathing. She's so cute. She reminds me of Maddie from a show I'm watching at the moment called Sweet Magnolias on Netflix. And one of the three main characters, she has bright orange hair and she is just stunning. And this lady just reminds me of, of her. Not even going to attempt pronouncing that because it looks so complex and my Spanish is terrible. But what that basically says, let time stop here. <laughs> She's basically saying, I want to have my moment. I want to sunbake. Just stop time, please. <laughs> And this is probably one of my favorite ones from this tag, this little layout there. She's so beautiful. She's got her hat. She's got her little acetate heart. She's gorgeous. Love it. Love that. It really does tell a little story about summer and being on the beach. And finally, we have this very, very colorful tag. Um, unfortunately, the little leopard is hidden away, but this paper has a, a, a repeated pattern with that leopard on it, and it's so cute. It's so cute. It reminds me a little bit of the Crate Paper Wild Heart Collection. Lots of layers again, lots of leaves, stingrays, um, or manta rays. Um, this little um, starfish is from the sticker pack. Uh, not the die cut, but still very, very cute. So I didn't feel the need to add sequins to this project because all the enamel stickers and the bling kind of just did, did the job in terms of embellishing it. And I just didn't feel any need to add any sequins on top of that. I thought that might, might, might sort of over, over embellish it. So that's it, guys. There are my two tags. And I, I guess my verdict is Laura by Laura. Bali collection is absolutely stunning. The colors are so fun to work with. I filled my head with doubt as I was crafting with this. I was nervous that there were so many different colors. But when I finished it, I went, oh my goodness, why did I hesitate? The colors are stunning. Stunning. The colors are so pretty and as you can see the tags turned out beautifully. You've got some really cute You know colors happening here and I'm, I'm really happy I'm really happy that I didn't just stick with pink but I experimented and used different colors and the Bali colors You know the colors in the Bali collection just worked so well for me and just a reminder guys This is not a sponsored video at all. I'm not doing this as part of any design team I just wanted to really support a small business because I love her products. I was so excited to buy it I bought all of this with my own money and I couldn't wait to to play with Laura by Laura So thank you to Frank Garcia for making the products available to us in Australia um, If you do get a chance do check it out on the Frank Garcia studio webpage and Tag me if you make any projects with it because I really want to see what people are making with it Thank you all for watching my video. If you liked this video, please hit subscribe. I would appreciate your support so very much. And I hope you all enjoy the rest of your weekend.
Bye, guys.